Hey, what is up guys? My name is Mario and on this video I want to show you five different things I did to the Note 4 in 2018 to make it a little bit faster. On the last video some of you guys mentioned that your phone was getting a little bit slow so hopefully these tips are going to help you make the phone faster especially if you own the Note 4 for the first time. Uh, and again some of these tips may not be for everybody so if you guys know any other way to make the Note 4 faster make sure to let us know in the comment section below and hopefully that's going to help everybody in the community. Let's go check them out. The first thing that I did is a factory data reset, but before I did that, I made sure I backed up all my pictures, all my videos, all my files, everything that I needed, I made sure I put it in the computer before I wiped everything off. And by bringing it back to the manufacturer settings, this allowed the phone to perform faster and just basically come back to the original state. And by doing this, it, made me, it basically forced me to just uh, get rid of some of those apps that I wasn't using anymore that were bugging down the phone. So first we bring the notification bar down, we click on the settings, from there we're gonna go to general. In general we come back down to backup and reset. And there all the way to the bottom where it says factory data reset. We scroll down again and we click on reset device. From there it brings you to the next screen and here we click again, we click delete all. It's gonna ask for the password, you enter the password. And if you don't have a password, we're not required for it. So after you do that, you just let it, let it do its thing. Uh, while it does that, it's just going to take a couple of minutes and also just remember, make sure you have a pretty good battery in it. Make sure at least you have at least 70% battery before you do a factory data reset. Next, I got rid of the S voice command. By doing this, every time you press the home button, it's going to bring you back to the home page a little bit faster. Uh, you're going to notice that there's not going to be a delay as there was before you disable this. We double tap the home button twice rapidly. And it's gonna prompt us if we wanna give it access, we're gonna hit allow it. So you gotta go through the setup the first time so we can disable it. You just follow the prompts, click OK, OK, allowed. When it does that, once it does that, it's gonna prompt us again. We just go through the through the flow, click next, click agree, done. Just click on allow, next start here you're gonna go on the top right hand side you're gonna click on this menu on the options and we're gonna click on settings and on settings we're gonna disable the open via the home key disable that and just go ahead and just disable the rest if you just don't want to have it there and that's it so now when you double tap the home button nothing happens so what it does it's supposed to bring you back to the home home page a little bit faster uh, there shouldn't be a delay as there was with the other one before when it was active the third thing I did is I disabled the transition animation between the apps and by this I mean every time you open the app or you close the app you can see there's like a transition of the app where it's coming towards you or it's actually fading away and by doing this it's gonna make the application open and close a little bit faster to disable the transition animation between the apps we're gonna First of all, we're gonna enable the developer options by going to the settings. Once you're in settings, you're gonna to go to general, scroll to the bottom, go to about device. On the about device, you're gonna to go to the build number. And on the build number, you're just basically gonna tap as many times as you can. And it's gonna tell you on the bottom that you're about to enable the uh, developer options. So once, once you do that, you go back, click on the back button once, you scroll to the bottom. You're gonna see that you have developer options here enabled now. Now don't be, don't be afraid, just don't start clicking things away. Only click where I'm gonna tell you. Uh, let's go right in there, click on developer options. Again, don't start messing with the settings if you don't know what they are. Uh, we're gonna scroll down a little bit more. And then where you see window animation scale, transition animation scale, animator duration scale, we're gonna go ahead and disable all of these, these three features to make the, the applications open and close a little bit faster. So what we do, we click on the first one. And if you notice, you have the animation scale is times one. You can do it 0.5 if you wanna still have some transition, make it a little bit faster, but you cannot just turn it off completely. Once you turn it off, it will let you know here. You, we do the same for the, the next option for transition animation scale, we turn that off. And we go to the last one, which is the animator duration scale. 
we turn this off. So if you notice, you got the three settings are off. Ever in the future, if you want to come back, you can turn them back on, put the original settings if you want. So now we go back to the home screen. And let me give you an example. We open the, the messages. If you notice, there's no transition in between. It just either just opens or closes the, the app right away. And fourth, I went ahead and I uninstalled and disabled all the apps that I didn't use that came through Samsung and the carrier that were making the phone a little bit slower and that were taking up some of the battery life. To get rid of all the bloodware, all the apps that came installed through the operating system with Samsung or the carrier, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to bring down the notification bar. We click on settings. Once we're in settings, we're going to scroll to the right hand side where it says apps. In apps, you're going to click on application manager. And this is going to give you a list of all the applications and services that are installed on the phone. And you just have to basically go through the list and every app that you don't need or you feel you will never use, go ahead and disable it or uninstall it completely. So basically this is gonna make the phone operate a little bit smoother. It's gonna free up some of the RAM that this is taking. And again, it's gonna help you uh, save on battery life. And by doing that, what you do is, for example, I have some of these AT&T apps that I don't need. You basically just click on them. Some of them, they won't let you uninstall. So what you do is you click disable and then you disable them. And now it's basically going to be disabled because it's giving me the option to enable it. So I go back and here it's going to let us know that the app was actually disabled. And number five, make sure you have the latest software update. The Note 4 supports the Marshmallow. So if you're still using Lollipop, make sure you find a way to get the Marshmallow. It is going to make a difference. Uh, last year I was using Lollipop and I noticed the phone was a little bit slow. A couple of you guys mentioned that I should be upgrading to the Marshmallow and I, and I listened to you guys and it made a difference. Now, I got the phone, it was an AT&T carrier and I have a T-Mobile and for some reason I was not able to get the latest update, uh, I don't know why, but what I did, I went to one of the Samsung's experience stores, I just basically walked in there, I handed over my phone and they went ahead and did it for me, it was free, it took about 10-15 minutes and I walked, walked out of there with the latest updates. If you guys feel there's other ways to make the note for faster and more effectively, make sure to let us know in the comment section below, I'll be reading all your comments. People will be reading your comments and I'll make sure to share the information. If you own the Note 4, consider subscribing to this channel because I'm going to have a couple more videos coming up in the near future for the battery and some of the battery accessories. Also, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.